Let's attack the pawn. Let's no, I'm not attacking the bishop. Let's bring the knight up. Or the pawn rather. Let's attack the king, baiting the pawn. Bring this bishop, baiting the other pawn. Yeah. It's attacking our pawn at the minute. This is weak, but this isn't opened at the moment. So we need to open that up if we're going for the dirty fried liver rubbish. Um so they're going for their own sort of situation. We could sting them there. King takes. We can still go with this, but is it to our benefit really? The king then moves. And then after that, they're doing the same thing to us, really. So shall we castle first and see if we get away with it? Unless, of course, they're going to go for the full fried liver. Or they're going for the full fried liver. Okay, so we might still be able to do our own type of... No, we're not anymore. Right, so getting all our pieces towards their king area should be a bit of a situation for us. So let's move here. Shall we move the king or do we need to just block it? It's attacking this pawn, so the queen on the other side of the board isn't going to hurt us. Let's just move the king here. All right, so we're happy with that. Let's move the knight. Let's try and get all our pieces towards their king side. And they're looking for disruption. Just attack the queen, attacking the pawn here to try and get around the back towards their king area. Let's take the pawn. It's obviously taken here. So we'll take with the pawn. So it's kind of blocking the queen's access with this um, manoeuvre, but we're probably looking to hit the head of the snake. They're not giving us chance to breathe, so we're going to take. And if they take back, then it's giving more scope to pieces coming towards their king area. So we'll take, supporting the rook, also x-raying through to their rook. So in essence, we could take, but really, then he takes and then we take his rook. That looks nice, doesn't it? We're going to take... Just to cause a bit of confusion, and we take for free here. So we're still working towards their king gear. The queen is still far, far, far away. So we could go here, but it's not supported. So we don't have a pawn supporting this area at the moment, which is a shame. So what I'm going to do is bring the knight here and see if we can work our way up towards the king. So at the minute our queen is covering our king, Rook's probably looking to cause some disturbance here. We are really trying to fashion getting this, which we have got now because we have the x-ray through and we've got support from the knight. Can move the king up, um, but he's going to attack the pawn, so we may as well just come here. King defending, and we get another piece off the board. Unless of course we can get our queen in, but it's going to be a bit too slow. So we'll take the knight, uh, Rook, sorry. We need to get our pieces mobilized in terms of attack. So let's bring this knight here defending. The bishop's going to be hit anyway. So he's attacking the bishop. Our queen is not getting in the game. But if the knight takes, knight takes. And uh, I need to get my queen into the game. If it goes here, he takes the pawn. So I'm still just bringing the queen here. If the knight takes, knight takes on the queen. Ooh, let's attack their queen. He can have this pawn. He does have like a passer, which we'll have to con. What? No, this isn't happening. Let's bring the king here. Let's take the knight and take. Like we said, we've got this passer to contend with, but if we bring the bishop here, blocking. 25 seconds we're on. Wow, I must have put too much thinking in. Let's bring the knight up. Let's attack the pawn. Attack the pawn. Take the pawn. Move the king. Bring the bishop up. Take the pawn. Excuse me, take the pawn. Push. 15 seconds. Let's get the knight across. Take the pawn. Take the pawn. Push. Push. King. Push. Knight. 
push push queen Okay, so we're in live recording mode with the new settings and those new settings did actually work for um, the recording mode side. So fingers crossed it works on this live recording section and then we'll go in on go live if this works. Okay, they're moving kind of quick, aren't they? Let's take here and let's see what we've got. Put a check on the king, take the bishop off the board. Take the bishop off the ball, take, don't find a 20 pointer actually. Oh, he's not going for that. So we'll go for it this way. 20 pointer being the king, not castling. But we're happy with that because we can bring it here and get it to safety. Put a check on. What's the knight looking to do? Bishop's attacking. Let's attack their bishop. Looking for some sort of fried thing. Let's go here. Take the knight. Knight doesn't want to be there anymore. Let's get this knight out. Let's stop this knight from jumping to these squares. Let's hit their knight. Let's take. Try and own this file. Let's take. And let's attack. Take. Time wise, we're not doing too bad. The opponents attempted to utilize speed over position, so I'm hoping we can take advantage of it. Let's attack the knight. It's not playing ball, it's attacking the rook. And let's attack the knight. Let's see if we can improve the position on our potentially looking to come here. And let's hit the knight. It's got the pawn, but we're not too fussed about that. Brings his rook here defending. Take the pawn. doesn't let's take with the check on the king and it's no real finish yet so we could put some more pressure on the pawn defending the pawn or push we do have a passed pawn here and he's attacking this pawn so let's just go here need to move this knight out of the way To let the pawn do its magic. Let's attack the knight. Let's push. Shall we take, take, push, and keep pushing? It's coming for a check on the king. It's not coming for a check on the king. Oh, okay. Let's bring the knight here, defending. Can we squeeze the rook here? Or does he have a dastardly plan? Queen. 
sit here, get the knight off the board with a check on the king if the knight stays there, because I think they'll be focused on pushing this pawn. Oh, it looks like they've left the game. Bit scrappy, but we're just testing the audio and visual really. And let's clear victory on that. Let's check it out. Three and zero. And let's hope this um, new audio and visual sync maintains. Although when I go in onto the live Twitch side of things, this person's left the game. Strange. Um, the audio and visual just doesn't look like it's married up. Uh, it worked nicely on the recording version as well as the 
recording version outside of the stream. So that was working fine. But then when you go into Twitch and then you look at the recorded version, well, the version of the stream, it just looks out. It's very strange. So I'm not doing anything else. I'm just keeping these settings and probably not going to go into Twitch because if I do go into Twitch, there's no talking because obviously um, the audio and visual just doesn't look right. It, I don't know. It just doesn't look right. It's weird. Shall we take just for the fun of it? Let's bring the knight through. Let's move the queen off of the line, attacking the pawn this way. Let's attack the knight. It's castle queen side. Probably need to think about moving my queen off of there, actually. It's going to get hit. going to get hit with the bishop yes exactly i knew it was waiting to get to that position let's get the rook here looking to own the file the play real quick let's grab a pawn let's take the knight off the board take the bishop off the board which one do we want to do which is going to give us a better position let's take the bishop looks a bit fierce let's take let's attack the queen Let's take, they look like they just want to get the game over and done with. Let's just, nice and easy, start developing the king up. They're the winning on time. So let's push this pawn. We've now got a passer that they've got to contend with for the rest of the game. Let's move the knight. Let's move this pawn. All on dark squares now. So ooh, let's just move the king. Yeah, so they're just a speed merchant in terms of, let's just go here, let's take, let's sink the knight in here, goes back to defend, start pushing the pawn, it's got a two on one there, so let's move the king across, let's take the knight, king, there's no stopping the taking, capture, uh, push. This is getting promoted. Oh, maybe not before theirs. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Gotcha. No, it's not. Uh dear. Okay, three and oh. Let's see how we get on here. I've put the settings back to the original settings for in the record mode just to see the difference. Because I didn't have an issue with the original settings. They did look good when I changed them, you know, to try and make the sync work with the twitchy type thing. Let's x-ray through to the queen. 
but like I said I didn't have any problems with the original one and I think the original one is probably more 100% proof than the actual new settings they were good but I'm just looking at the small details just bringing the rook out to support opposite the king if anything kicks off long pause so now probably thinking how they're getting their queen around are they going to just do lazy man start pushing the pawns down it's coming with the knight going to take the knight off the board takes with the queen um not sure if that was we've got the pawn here it's got their pawn here got the knight here putting a check on the king but he's not having that looks like he's getting himself set for attacking the king here let's take the pawn so this comes here if we then think we're coming here then it's like check not mate but so not a very nice position So it's just constantly attacking now what he's doing they think they're very clever you know it's like stopping the knight from actually coming here so we're going to have to take and they're looking to still put pressure on the knight somehow this pawn's going to have no protection it's attacked twice could push this pawn just to support the knight if they do take then we take then we're not giving up this pawn in the center so i'm going to go with this maneuver here just to support the knight and you know if we did take the their master in the center here yes so we're going to take with the pawn i believe bishop is okay because it's we've got the rook x-raying through to the queen but a smaller piece defending um but it does get the bad bishop activated don't it could always take with the queen as well to get that activated but i think the bishop is going to get activated because it's got the x-ray through to the rook So as you can see, clearing out the center, um, we like to obliterate the center. So th thankfully they've done that for us. And as we said, they were always looking to get that move off. So now the knight can come here and harass the bishop. Bishop probably wants to stay on the back because it still wants to keep the power base. So now we can bring the knight attacking because we've got the support from the pawn. So looking future tense. And they expected it, obviously. Look how fast they moved. So targeting here. Queen's probably coming here to target. What can we do about it? Can we move the knight anywhere? Can we move the knight here to then do anything else? It doesn't look like it at the moment. Pawn can attack. Queen probably coming here to then stop that activity. So I'm going to bring the queen here because obviously but now they're going to change their mind and now they've gone for a pawn but it's like a greedy munching queen we're not going to lose any sleep over that and that's fairly interesting for us this pawn's protected by the bishop the rook can attack i think we'll go with the basic rook attacking okay so the queen's doing a lot feels like it's um working itself quite nicely into a bit of a lava so I'm going to hit this pawn because this pawn is supporting the bishop and we want to get rid of this bishop. Okay, so always looking to attack. If the pawn does take, we can't take because the bishop has got the x-ray through. Okay, so we could take, but then they take... Oh, time's running out. Oh my God, I thought it was a long play game. I didn't, I lost my track. Let's go here, attack the queen. It's got no protection on if they do continue attacking. It does go continue, we get the queen for free. Let's get a check. Oh, they've resigned. Let's take. Defend, developing. Develop. Lots of pieces getting attacked with this pawn. No, not today. Let's castle. 
Unlike the bishop, let's just bring it back. Nothing hitting the dark squares at the minute, so king's okay. Takes, let's go for his queen first. Problem with this situation is, is that we're going to be down a piece. We're already down a pawn. So the problem with this situation, x-ray through to the queen first. He's got like the bishop protecting as well. So let's attack the um, bishop. Move order. Because the rook is still on the queen. Knight's on the queen now. They're still plus one. Queen moves off the line. Still looking to cause some type of trouble. Oh, I've got a fork. But has he got a checkmate on me? I've got a fork. Not really. Knight's not got a check on our king. Well, we slowed them down a bit, but this could be the long pause before the strike comes in. How do you know? I didn't see that. What the heck is that? And the knight comes in with a check, but it's going to get taken. Well, this is like the cat getting cornered, isn't it? Phew. There's nothing... It's just scratching and biting, and we get a sort of situation. And for a 15 oh game, a bit longer, give us some time to start thinking about some positions, trying to get the right move orders, and just evaluating and actually applying the lessons learned from the recent past games. So we're going to capture, we want to try and keep a familiar position for us. So we're going to bring the bishop out. We like to bait the pawn, so let's see if they're going to go for it. All right, so we'll keep that there. We're happy with this position and let's castle. Now we know the king doesn't have much company. So I'm going to bring the rook here supporting the pawn. So my brain is thinking, can we give the king some company? That is in the back of my head at this moment. We know that pieces can be attacked, but we can get a comfortable position. 
so we can take our time see what we can not too much time because it's got zero increment but okay so they're going castling too so do we rush to get these pieces out to give the king some company i believe so let's get the bishop here let the king feel a little bit homely and get the knight out so it can potentially sit here so they're moving quick now this pawn's only got the bishop supporting but we've got two knights in front so i'm going to bring this knight across and obviously they're moving dead quick now so we're going to take i don't know why they're speeding up because they've got a fork maybe but it's not a good fork so we're going to take the pawn we're plus one now they're moving real quick so our knight can move here defending the bishop so i think i'm going to move the knight protecting the bishop this pawn's protected by the rook so that's a moment of craziness there which has left them one pawn down we could take their queen first or we can take the bishop do we fall foul if we don't if we take the knight the bishop then his rook yeah i think we can just take the bishop i don't think it's one of those funny ones where you lose out oh it, it is in a way though isn't it because now the queen's moved and it's attacking the knight so we're not getting the queen off the board now i think we should have just taken the queen ah <sighs> And we were just saying as well, it's not one of those funny ones, but it kind of is. Oh, that's annoying. What can we make of this then? Just move the knight back again. Oh, I'm slightly annoyed with myself there. Should have just taken the big gun off the board. I think I got arty in my own head there. That's the type of thing I wanted to avoid. And that was so simple as well. Because they didn't have to trade, did they? We should have just taken it off. Urgh. Kicking myself now. So if we move the queen here, protecting the knight, rooks are going to come and challenge. So move the queen here. Just move the queen here. See, now we're having to do all this dancing and we wouldn't have had to do that if we'd have taken the queen off the board. Oh. Rookie, rookie mistake. It's nothing major, but it's, you know, I mean, now he's got like a two on one. We've got three pieces protecting here, but the one that's in front is the queen. So the knight can take. So we're going to have to shuffle again the queen. Now we can't shuffle it here because their queen is protecting. So it's almost like we're going to lose the pawn. Knight can't go and protect. Well, it can come and protect by coming here. I think that's the only move we're going to make, but it's putting pressure on our position. Not a fan of it at all. Should have just taken that queen off the board. Look at the trouble it's caused us now. We've given them loads of, what's the word now? Um, compensatory position, which now we're, we're having to chase. Look at that, we can't even take here because the rook is defended. So if we take, he just takes our queen. So I'm going to put the pawn here. It's too much. It's too much. All from simply not capturing the queen. This move here, I'm thinking, potentially has lost them the tempo, which allows us to move the queen out of the way and take this pawn over here. I think that's what it's allowing us to do. So plus two up, but as we've said, when people are two plus two with us, it's about the position on the board. So they've moved the bishop. So we've won an important tempi there. We can't push here because it's got the rook there. And we could bring this rook here just to um, look to attack their rook. Is our queen getting trapped? Can the queen do something more proactive? Um, ba -ba -dum. I think bringing the rook here, although no, because the bishop's protecting this pawn, their rook's going to be looking to hit our queen. So I'm going to bring the rook here first. They're doing lazy man's chest now coming down because they've got this diagonal towards our king. So they're thinking something's happening there. So I'm happy for the lazy man at the moment. If we move the knight, attacking the rook just to give them something to think about. 
and if we can start moving the knight up to a more proactive position it's the totally going for lazy man at this moment in time i don't see it pawn takes there uh, not really seeing it at this moment so what's the rook doing does the rook just take the rook off the board it's keeping it simple it's just that it doesn't have a support so he's going to be owning the file if we take the pawn queen's on the other side of the board do we want to bring it back into the game i'm actually going to bring the queen back over here whilst they're doing lazy man's chest they're not doing anything they're just waiting for us to make a mistake. I think they'll continue just taking and taking. So it doesn't feel like it's a bad position. He's attacking the pawn because now the knight is not, the bishop is not protecting the pawn. But we wanted to get the knight into the game. There's no real support on there. Them knight can come here. Let's bring the knight up. so they're just doing attack the queen knight can come back down here which it's doing queen's on here looking to attack their knight bishop will x-ray through to the rook if the knight does take So all this basically started from not taking the queen and I'll keep on saying it from not taking the queen we've created a situation for ourselves can't go here it's looking to support the attack on the bishop just take the knight off the board keep it simple okay so they've gone a bit crazy rook looking to bolster an attack are we going to rule the day that we didn't take this off the board? Let's take it off the board. Queen's coming with a check. The rook's coming with a check. Push this onto the rook. It's got a two on one. Move the king. coming for the pawn rooks don't have any place in the center of the board unless of course it's to your benefit as we know let's attack their rook obviously it's coming here no it's not going there and attack the queen behind there is the pawn though so we have to be careful we attack the queen it's going to do double dose onto the pawn or I could even attack this pawn bring the queen here supporting the pawn is that going to really help it though let's bring the queen here supporting the pawn maybe start moving these depending on what they do we're plus three now but as we said being plus anything if your position isn't good on the board then it's not worth anything the queen's taking this pawn here so we're plus two rooks in the center of the board we do have a white square bishop it just currently can't so he's moved his king off of the line of our queen have they lost important tempi in terms of taking the pawn shall we just move this he can still come down and get one of the pawns anyway so we may as well push this pawn like this whilst they're bolstering some sort of so they're attacking our queen and take time got eight minutes could come here but then he can come down with a check and we lose mind you we've got a check on his king haven't we so go here with a check on the king king gets defended or moves the rook and we take the queen takes the pawn with a check interesting times yeah so if we go here put a check on 
his queen is wanting to get this. The rook can go. I don't think the rook will move from there. I think the bishop will just. In fact, no, I'll just move the king. Just moves the king. Then we have this problem here. Whereby the rook, we can't come back with our queen. So we'd have to support this with a rook. We're playing support and alley. Then he comes here and attacks the queen. Still attacking the pawn again. Hmm. Let's put the check. And see what happens. Bishop actually comes in front. So we could just push the pawn up, but then he's on our rook, but he can't take because the he's got the pin. So we could hit the rook. I think that might be better. Hitting the rook. Queen takes, but then we take the queen. It's taken the bishop, x-ray in, take the queen. We're still on his rook. It's a move order thing. His bishop's got our rook, so it's not worked out too well. Move order. Move order. Yeah, look at that. So he takes, but he's not actually on oh, my king. My king can move, and we can save the queen and attack his. And the bishop can't move. So we can take, but we've got a queen versus a rook and a bishop. Which is going to be horrible because he's coming down here looking for this. So if we bring the king up. Got six minutes. Yeah, absolute travesty of a game. Just because we didn't take that queen off the board at the very beginning of the game. So let's start pushing this pawn. It's not going to get promoted, but let's just keep pushing. Just to give them something to think about. Give our piece a bit of, well, one piece, the queen, a bit of space. Move the king up. Look at that, just jamming it all off. So he's got the pawn. Let's move the queen. Let's attack the rook, putting a check on the king. And there, but for the grace of the chess gods, go I. And the opponent has left the game. Interesting game, all because of not taking, doing the simple moves, and we will claim victory on that. I really enjoyed that game. A little bit of blitz, see how we get on. Okay, let's practice this new one. Let's develop the knight. Attack the knight. Should take the knight off the board. And let's just open up the dark square bishop. It's not letting the bishop in. No problem. Let's just go and castle. Let's castle. Very defensive player. Let's just bring the knight here. Let's bring the bishop to him. A pawn, it's just acting as a pawn, and as usual, attacking here. We push, come across, push. Bishop attacks, bring the rook across, try and attack the bishop. Doesn't do that just yet, so let's move the rook, see if we get the position into for the bishop, the fianchetto type situation. Let's bring the bishop here. Like I said, very defensive player this is. And let's just bring the bishop here whilst they're pushing down here. What's the focal point? Hitting the head of the, well, back of the snake on this um, occasion. Ah, they must be hearing me. All right, okay, so that changes the goalpost a little bit. Move the queen. Was always attacking, so he's going to be hitting or taking. Do I need to lose any sleep over that? 
so any weaknesses and let's see got two on here so bishop could attack the pawn obviously it's going to get supported because it's very defensive it's like he's got an old head on him yeah queen defending this player must be like 60 odd or something just put another piece attacking just get ready to bring it back again yeah old man chess so we push this you wouldn't find a young player playing like this this is this would this would bore them to tears all right let's just bring the knight here <laughs> oh dear me right so let's have a look bishop's still attacking could attack but don't want to open up space in front of the king time is running out let's just hit time to make some space no look at that this guy is so old in fact i'll probably put them as an 80 year old And they're moving fairly swiftly anyway, aren't they, as well? So it's not moving slow. So maybe not an 80-year-old. Yeah, because look how fast they're moving. It's going for a fork. Knight is going to get trapped, so I need to move the king. But I can't do any of that because it's going to get trapped. One of them's trapped. <gasps> oh, I can't move the knight. I can move it over here. It's taken. Got a two on one, rook's coming in, quick time. So got space around his king, but it's not. Yeah, pretty peak. So we can move the bishop again. Bishop's moving, obviously. Move the queen, attacking the rook. So all the players down on this file here. Oh, same timing as well. Same time left. Queen's having to babysit this pawn. And knight putting two on here, something. Knight again, maybe. I don't know where it's going, but just throw it in here. And let's just take it off the board. Get the two on here. Attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back, still wanting to mint. Woohoo, what's happened? What's happened? Let's attack the queen. Let's take. Still on the queen, if they forget themselves. Let's take. Let's go for the pawn. Let's take. Comes down to defend the pawn here. Damn it. Eight seconds left. Yeah, he does as well. Attack the bishop. But he can't protect this pawn. And take. Very nice game. Very smooth. Lucky because we brought ourselves up playing the storm wall type thing when we first started playing chess. As we've mentioned before, um, it's one of those where it, it doesn't, well, it didn't allow, well, I didn't allow it to really, what's the word now, explode and then start attacking properly. So I then created a, an attacking system for myself which was really good, but the back end really was shoddy. We've learned throughout the years that, you know, the attack really should have some sort of half decent support as you're going forward. But this game was really a good example of dealing with a very defensive player. Um, I did enjoy it. It did make me laugh because it just took me back to um, old, old school chess play.